An enormously popular oh, Friday bonus too, like Bill, because what? people have already had their worlds shaken <laughs> by uh, what we've come out with Monday to Thursday. And then they get to a Friday, Bill. <laughs> and they get a... They get a complete bonus. Bonus. <laughs> and often an insight into some really good stuff that you wouldn't access otherwise. No. Right. Some blue. Well, not all, you can often take the joke a bit blue, but yeah. just, a, just some stories oh. of years gone oh, by, right. Fat, that we wouldn't normally roll with <laughs> because we're not self-indulgent. <laughs> oh. Much. Oh, gee. So we give so them... So what do you got? Hand these out on a Friday, just uh, for the family's benefit, Bill, so they can chortle on their way into their weekend, especially relevant now, given what's going on. Yes, exactly. So, uh, growing up in the West, Bill, I was about three years older than Justin Langer. Right. Uh, I reckon. I wouldn't have the exact... I reckon I'm about three years older than him. Tiny little bastard. (laughs) But he and I, great friends, of course, of the two families, uh, Colin, Joanne, his mum and dad, magnificent people. Anyway, so we all grew up... Uh, Played cricket together. Cricket together. Yeah. Not for WA, though. I'd left by the time he came through. No. A lot but against junior. each other. But yeah. uh, juniors, he was at Aquinas. I was at Scotch. Was he that. a good cricketer as a kid? Not Hard as to good get as out? he turned out to be. No, right. Up. Nowhere mm. near as good as he turned out to mm. be. But I tell you what, Bill. He was a rock hard bastard. Yeah. Like we used to go to the Wacker Nets in the winter, the indoor centre with the bowling machines at about 7.30. I'd then go on to work yeah. and he'd go on to year 12 at Aquinas. So we'd turn up. And like I'd be annoyed that I had to get up early in the morning yeah, to go exactly. to the nets because I'm not a morning man. No, you're not. Eleven years of uh, low quality breakfast radio, I'll tell you that. Uh, you're but not I an turn up at man, and you're not a night <laughs> man. Not really any man. Turn up at seven thirty. Yeah. He'd roll in, Bill. Yes. Often, with like blood trickling out of his ear or out of his nose. What? And this is a sixteen-year-old, seventeen-year-old kid. I'd say to him, "What have you been doing?" <laughs> And, and, and Bill, he, for an hour before turning up to the indoor nets in July, middle of the Perth winter, he'd been to Taekwondo, oh, whatever the hell he did, yes. and had the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> no, he would he would spar with black belts, and yeah. he was nowhere near a black belt at that stage, yeah. and they would literally belt the living crap out of him. A little JL. He'd have half his eye closed over, mm. and I'd look at him and go, mate, what are you doing? Why? Why? He'd go, I love it. I yeah. just love it. I, I love, love getting, getting in the ring. Bashed. I love getting these blokes that belt him up. So. Yeah. That's the sort of weird ass unit you're dealing with. And I should add money on him then playing 120 yeah. tests because he just wanted it so badly. Anyway, move on to the back end of his playing career. And I had finished playing and we're, I was holidaying in Perth. He obviously lives there. He's got a place in Mandra, not far from where Bristol comes from. Oh, yes. About yes, yes, yes. Uh, an hour south of Mandra. Perth. It's a very nice place on the canals there. And he plays his golf at a place called The Cut in Port Bouvard, I think it is, Cut. which is a very nice uh, golf course about an hour south of Perth. Anyway. So the two of us are playing golf. He's not a great golfer, JL. I think he might have got better, but at that stage he wasn't great. Nuggety little left-hander. He could spray him everywhere. Anyway, two of us are sitting in a cart. We're driving around a beautiful day talking smack. Mm, I've picked picked that up, Bill, from modern footballers. We were just talking smack. You were very good at it. (laughs) Anyway, as we're driving around, and and this is a hard bastard. This is a man who broke his hand when he was on 70, went on to make 200 Mm. in a shield game against South Australia. So very, very tough. tough. So that's why he and I always unlike, got on so well together. Bill. Unlike flogs, uh, like we had yeah. that in common. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> well, I'm driving along, oh, fat. and one of the things I am, and I don't know why, because it's authentic. So I, I haven't manufactured. I'm fascinated by snakes. Snakes. Two houses in the Adelaide Hills. Adelaide Hills got lots of snakes. Yes. So certainly the first one, which had a creek running down the front of it, often see red bellies and tiger snakes and every Ooh. now and then the odd king brown. Dangerous and, bastards. No, no, real dangerous yeah. bastards. Yeah. But, Bill, as long as you're far enough away from them, you know they're not going to attack you, and mm. I just find them fascinating. Yeah. Anyway, so we're driving around on this cart, golf cart, and I, we're driving up to a tee box at Port Bouvard, the cut. The cut. And I see going across the tee box... A good sized brown snake. I think they call them Jew guides. They over call there. them Jew yeah. guides. Don't know why. They, they do. It's funny, mm. strange. Jew yeah. guide, but it was a good big bastard. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I should have picked up on the fact that the noise next to me Ooh. stopped. Yeah. But I wasn't interested because yeah. I wanted to go and yeah, have a look at it. Yeah. So I've driven straight over the top of the two tea boxes because oh, it was on the third one down not over the because snake. it was heading off. No, no, never. No, yeah. It was heading off and I wanted to catch it before it buggered off. Mm. Anyway, so I'm driving, you know, quickly to try and see this thing. It was a real good, fat, long bastard. Anyway, as I'm doing that, Bill, it suddenly occurred to me that there was a commotion next to me in the golf cart. And you know how golf carts are made? You've got the sort of perspex you look out the front of, and then behind you, you've often got a little bucket where you can put your head covers or any, you know, apparel you don't want to wear anymore. (laughs) And behind that, you've got the two sets of golf clubs strapped in. Yeah. He, I didn't oh, no. realise, was there. terrified of snakes 
Like, I'm talking terrified, terrified to the point where which a lot of people it are. took him over. Like Sam Newman. So as I'm driving towards this snake, Bill, he's exited out the back of the golf cart. <laughs> he went out the back. Through the bucket where the head covers were, <laughs> past the clubs. Oh. So I've looked in the rearview mirror and there, there was the toughest Australian <laughs> opening batsman ever running in the opposite direction. Oh, come on, JL. I said what? to him, what the f*** do you think you're doing? Jim, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the hell? Seriously? What the hell? Anyway, so I've stopped and had a bit of a look at the yeah. snake and by that stage it's bugger off. I've mm. gone back to get him. Uh, All the blood's on. drained oh. out of his face. He goes, what do you think you're doing? Mm. I said, mate, we're in a cart and we're 10 metres away. I'm just having a look at the snake. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit with him. Bill, <laughs> you could grab me and say stop here. Yeah. You don't have to exit <laughs> through the back. <laughs> Bill. Through it past the clubs. He got past the clubs, <laughs> past the net and was running in the other direction. Come on, softy. So I'm finishing yeah. up by saying myth. Myth. Like and, Glenn Archer. No. Yes. No. Who cries at the drop of a hat. <laughs> and yeah. Tubby Taylor, who claimed to be the father of the year when he saw his kids for four days. <laughs> so Bill, you know who else One so. of the great myths. Sam Newman, done the eight oh, snakes. I can't say he snakes. Can't but, that's but, but he wouldn't run out the back of a cart. Oh. I don't know. You wouldn't know what Foss would do. Anyway, I'm, I'm parceling this up. Right. I'm getting it on an email. And, and I'm sending, sending it, it to him to remind him of the myth that he is. Yeah, yeah. Right. Soft cough. <laughs> Triple M.